Welcome to the Narrow James Bill. Hope you're very well. <coughs> well, it's Saturday morning, it's half seven. Um, so I've got a whole weekend here to crack on, which is excellent. Um, I've got a list of things to be getting on with this weekend. So I've got to paint the roof, start doing more on the sides, see if I can do some painting on the stern, attach the solar panels. Um, I've got to buy some filler and do some more filling around here. I want to do some tidying up of these things. So I've got a whole load to do this weekend um, and the weather's on my side, so that's excellent. Um, but first off, uh, I've got a three hour um, speed awareness course I've got to do. So this is why the laptop's out on a Saturday. Um, so I guess it's better than going to some hotel on a business park for the whole day um obviously it's covid rules so i'm st I've, it's all done online so that's a bit of a blessing um but uh yeah here we go i've got two minutes now to get this so uh yeah i've got three hour speed awareness course and then i can get cracking i've also got to go to midland chandler's today to get some more paint for the roof obviously i'm using that craftsmaster stuff um and um yeah you can't get it in, in many places so I'm going to go down there there's a few other things I need to check out because that's where I'm going to get my oven and my fridge from so I'm just going to go and uh, just double check some of the other bits and pieces down there but yeah that's the plan so I've got this until uh, about 11 o'clock and then I can start actual work once I've learned how to drive properly right so I'm going around this area here now on the gunnel where the gunnel meets the upper wall um, there's lots of, obviously it's an easy area here for water to gather, um, kind of it pools in this area. So as a result of which has been quite a lot of uh, rust over the years. So I'm going to strip it all back. I might put some rust converter on there, um, but I'm going to strip it all back just using this attachment on the, um, on the angle grinder. As you know, I hate using this thing, but needs must. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to see if I can grind it back.
eagle eye amongst you, or the eagle-eared amongst you, may realise that I had a bit of muff success back in London. Um, I got my microphone working, so that's a result. Um, so I'm hoping you guys can hear me now as I kind of walk up and down the boat, and it's going to be obviously really useful for when we're cruising. So the plan is now to tidy up this area all along here, and then I need to put some filler in on this hatch here and I think yeah, and obviously just round there so those are the two bits I need to fix now right so I've filled in all the holes using the same two-part system and then over here I've done the same around there so I'm going to sand all this back now and hopefully see if it's good enough to put some red oxide down. Right, I've ground down basically all the way up to here now. So I can basically apply red oxide to this entire side. I haven't filled in just because I forgot that it existed. So I've just spotted this blocked in window. So I'm going to have to put some filler on that. Um, but I'll do that now. And then whilst that's drying, I will then kind of start tidying up the boat, wetting it all, getting all this powder off, and then slapping down some of the red oxide. Right, so I've cleaned down the sides after sanding it all back, um, and uh, just taking five minutes now, just until this stuff all dries off really, and then I can put the red oxide on it. But it's all come down to quite a decent decent kind of finish um it's it's as good as kind of the 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 at the towards the stern so i'm hoping this side's all going to be kind of okay we'll see what it's like in a minute once the paint's been put on it um talking of which this is just so irritating so ran out of red oxide went to screw fix look at the dinky size that they have this is all there is 250 mil I'm like, I need like a thousand of these so that's ridiculous um, so and they only had two so I've probably got enough to do like that amount and then I went to Midland Chandler's to get um, my undercoat for the whole boat and ridiculously they only sell tiny little tins as well uh, this is the undercoat that I've used on the roof so this is the one I need the Craftsmaster stuff but 500 mil is kind of useless 30 quid as well doesn't help um so by awesome i think the biggest they do it in is a litre i was like well this is made for narrow boats surely no one is surely i'm not the only one that is painting an entire narrow boat in using the same paint i don't understand why they don't sell it in 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 like five litre tins it's really it's really frustrating me because this stuff isn't easy to get either so i've got to keep going back to midland chandler's and that place is like a sweet shop you can't go in there without buying everything so it's um yeah one of those things slightly frustrating but i'm hoping um on this saturday afternoon or evening i'm going to get most of this this side all done really um haven't quite worked out what i'm going to do with the gunnels in this kind of section here it's um i've ground it back it's okay um Obviously, I've ground it back enough to take all the bloody sand off the, the grippy part now, but I think I'm going to redo that. And a few people suggested using a uh, skateboard kind of surface, um, which, well, yeah, that sounds like it would work quite well. Talking of working quite well, um, Will Parkin sent me some extra little bits to get the microphone working, so I'm glad to report that it is working now. These are the bits I need. So that hangs out the back of the phone. That goes into there, and then I got this coming out, the mic one of that dual port going into the transmitter. So um, if anyone else is struggling to get external, apparently it's a thing, um, getting external mics to work on iPhones is, is, is not easy. You need all this stuff hanging out the back, of, back end of it. Anyway, so uh, thanks Will for sorting that out.
supper on the go. I'm having spag bol again. Basically, if it's not ham and cheese toasties or spaghetti bolognese, I don't think I'm eating on this boat. some reason I was really daunted by tackling the outside of the boat and I've been kind of putting it off for months um, granted I don't like using the angle grinder um, but once that bit's done the actual painting of it um, is really quite quite easy um, you get a much better finish than what I thought um, I just had I just kind of assumed that you'd have to be in a paint shop to get any half decent finish um, and certainly someone with my lack of skill was it was just going to look horrific but I've got to say I think once another six layers of paint have gone on with sanding in between I think it's going to be okay um granted it's a you know it's a 50 year old boat it's got seams and bits and pieces to it I've tidied it up as much as I can and now the red oxides all over the side of the gunnels going up the wall I've got to say it really has um, masked quite a lot of the kind of the bits I thought were going to stand out they they, they really don't um, and I can imagine once the final coats of paint are on um, because I can imagine the walls and the gunnels might be two different colors so it's gonna it, I, th I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work all right um, so I'm quite relieved in terms of I don't have to kind of take everything back it's just kind of the troublesome spots are the ones to do so I did this whole side in one day um, and that included grinding back and sanding and a lot of kind of tidying up of bits and pieces so I reckon uh, the next coat to do the entire side is probably going to take me an hour and a half two hours maximum so it's really not the kind of major endeavor that I had it in my mind that it was going to be um i do need to tomorrow i need to flip the boat around and do exactly the same that's what my that's what my brain's telling me my, my heart just wants to slap the nice looking gray primer on the side of it now um but once now i'm kind of in the zone and i've and i know certainly in the in in the little corner where the wall and the gun will meet there's you get the angle grinder in the right kind of angle um it just works quite nicely so whilst that's all kind of fresh in my mind i will have to do that the stern needs quite a lot of work so i'm not going to be able to spin it around easily here well i can't i'm gonna have to take it out to spin it around because there's boats on both sides so I'm going to see tomorrow, I'll speak to John and see if I can put it in the um, in one of the slipways because that might make it easier to to kind of, yeah, to do some work, certainly in the stern area. Um, and there's going to be quite a lot of filling to be done there because there's loads of little holes all I've, I've seen all around, along the gunnels there. So, yeah, there's quite a bit of work to do on the outside still, but this is the time to do it, make use of the good weather. Um, you know it just makes it so much easier the paint is just these are just the perfect conditions for painting so um, I'm going to continue as as I've been doing so yeah that'll be the plan tomorrow um, maneuver the boat and spin it around and do the other side oh hello there fly
Look after yourselves. Until then, bye-bye.